Well, that's definitely something. What in... What is this? I don't know what to make of this. Oh, ew. Those look like... Are they supposed to be vampire teeth? Okay, what the hell? Well, now I have to check. <laughs> Somebody back there? Heard something off in that direction. Okay. There is a box with a flower. Okay. Yeah, that's an opening, all right. What is that? Okay. it's bright out here what is up guys welcome back to the channel um, it is pretty chilly right now so I had to throw on my much bigger sweater um, which was designed a little bit more for this weather uh, looks like summer is officially over unfortunately is what it is um, yeah so we're back to doing Randonautica um, actually starting out here I think I'm in like Richmond Hill or Thornhill area if you guys are you know from the greater Toronto area you'll know where that is uh yeah i'm pretty much on my own i have some time to kill because i'm going to a dinner in a little bit so i figured i might as well run a couple of points um had an extra like i think hour and 20 minutes so we got to make this snappy um went with the first intent which was from Catherine williams who suggested several different ones um, but one that caught my attention was hidden underground room there's literally a gigantic trail behind me so i may actually come back out here later on uh, once i'm done with you know my family affairs and uh, we'll see what else we can find later on as well in the meanwhile uh, we're going to head towards this point it is pretty far in i don't know if we're going to find anything along the way related to a hidden underground room but how cool would it be if we found an, a hidden underground bunker you never quite know um but yeah for those of you that don't know what randonautica is i know it's repetitive but uh newcomers obviously we want to explain how this works basically randonautica is this very strange app that uses sort of a quantum physics um, if you come up with a suggestion or an intention it'll take you to somewhere nearby and you're supposed to find something related to whatever that intent might be um, so yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna go and do now I just finished up doing a live it is you know a Sunday so I had nothing else to do no other content to upload so I'm like whatever I'll hang out with you guys um, if you're not subscribed to the podcast or the second channel go and do that now so you guys don't miss anything i'll leave the link down in the description below and in a pinned comment apart from that smash the like button and let's get this adventure started all righty so we came down this uh hill across this little random bridge thing so far this area looks really nice um i've never been here before didn't know any of this existed look at all the uh the trees the way the colors are wow well, even though it's kind of chilly, at least we have uh, a beautiful looking environment. Got lots of other people walking through. That's cool. So whatever it is we're looking for looks to be down that direction. Um, but it does look like the trail kind of goes around. It's a little few extra steps, but might as well do it. Okay. I don't know what's down there, but... If we were to find some, like, sort of underground lair, <laughs> then I'm going to be pretty astonished. Uh, looks like just more trees to me. Oh, I see something. What the hell? Well, that's definitely something. What in... What is this? Bro, really? <laughs> Whoa. 
Whatever it is, looks like it's pretty well abandoned. Or whatever it was, anyway. It's locked. Is this just like some random storage shed? Oh crap, look at that. Dude, I think we found our underground room. What the hell? There's no way. but it's just like a utility room or something. Okay. Well, you never quite know what the heck you're gonna find. Talk about random? <laughs> Holy. What the hell was that? Hello? Some random person walking there. I heard something over here though. Sounded like it came from back here. Somebody back here? This doesn't quite look like a trail. So I don't know why anybody would be back here. There's like a random brown bag there and a stick. That's pretty much all there is. Well, that's kind of strange. I don't know what to make of this. What the hell is this? <laughs> There's definitely something in here. Oh. Uh, okay. An NFL Superstar collectible stick. Carry Price, number 31, and a random little cube with the letter E. Okay. my camera down for a sec because uh, <laughs> this is kind of hard to do okay uh, let's see what we got here take my damn glove off because it's oh man well looks like we're gonna have to just rip it open imagine this was like some ten thousand dollar collectible and I just absolutely destroy the box just likely that is very likely. Okay. Something inside of it. Oh, cool. Oh, shoot. We dropped Carey Price's stick. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's literally just some random box thing. But there's like a piece of paper in here. What the hell? Oh, it's like a letter. It says, To Selene, the Eternal One. Sending you... <laughs> uh, season's greetings? What in the hell did I just find? To Selene... Or is it Selene? I don't really know. Much love from Sam. Thank you for all you do for us. Forever will I... It's like really smudged. Follow in your footsteps. Oh, I think I've seen that before. Forever. Okay. Well, this just got kind of weird. I don't really know what to make of this, but... Alright. 
I'm, oh man, what was it called? Damn. The symbol, I swear I've seen it somewhere else. It was that thing in the forest. I kept finding like this weird logo of sorts. Some people walking by, but yeah, I don't remember what the name of it was. But okay, I'm just gonna put this all back and uh, carry on my merry way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I already ran the uh, next intent here. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but this one random dude in front of me just literally lost his shoe and then put it back on. I don't know what's happening. Uh, but we got an intent from Mary, which I already ran, and it is hidden message. Now it says it is down that way. This is probably gonna be the last point for daytime because uh, I gotta head over to my aunt's house and basically have dinner with them. Uh, so we're gonna head on over there and see what we find. This was really interesting, to say the least. I mean, we found that random thing, which is kind of suspicious, in my opinion. Um, but the fact that, like, the intent basically worked, I mean, it's not an underground room, it's definitely above, but the fact that it's a little abandoned utility room, clearly, is uh, interesting. So let's head on over to the next point and uh, see if we can find anything there as well. So there was this dude, like, literally right here. I don't know what he was doing, but um, he literally lost his shoe right here. He was, like, hopping on one foot. That was kind of funny. And then they just moved along. Um, oh, there's something written on here. I've been noticing, like, a lot of these have random things. Oh, beware of Slender Man. Awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Uh, and then this one says, beware grasshoppers. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, what is that? I ain't never seen one of these. Oh, spotted salamander. I've just never seen them that dark before. Cool. It would actually be pretty cool to see painted turtles, but I think it's too cold for them right now. All right, let's continue on and, uh, see where we end up. It looks like it's not too far. But I do got to kind of speed things up so, so I can be on time for dinner. Because if you're not early, you're late. That's my motto. <laughs> I'm usually always early to, to things. Just got a random crushed pylon. Nothing too crazy. Lots of trees and random plastic pipes. So it looks like it's around this bend. It looked like, kind of like there was a pond there too. So, okay. Well, it looks like this just kind of backs on to a brand new subdivision. Damn, those are some monster houses. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. Look at that nice looking backyard. It looks like they have a greenhouse down there. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there's a body of water right there a pond or whatever so it kind of looks like the whatever we're looking for is in this direction kind of looks like it was right over here but I don't see anything Something moved over there. Oh, just a squirrel. Or hey, maybe there's a spotted salamander. You never know. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this was supposed to be the point, but I don't see anything in particular. Nope, just uh, just bushes. That's literally it. Beautiful area though, yeah, I must say. At least, uh, if anything, at least we're getting a nice little hike out of this. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Maybe I'll go back this way and check some more. I don't know. <laughs> I might be missing something, but sometimes we get duds. It happens. But yeah, there's just, there's nothing really obvious to me at the moment anyway okay well uh i don't see anything 
Uh, wait. There's something in there. What is that? I mean, it looks like just like a dead piece of wood, but <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not looking at it. That's weird because I could have sworn I glanced in this direction and I did not see anything. And I don't see any people. What is that? It says on this day, mend a quarrel. First I thought it said squirrel. <laughs> Search out a forgotten friend. Uh, dismiss a suspicion and replace it with trust. Write a letter to someone who misses you. Encourage a youth who has lost faith. Keep a promise. Forget an old grudge. Examine your demands on others and vow to reduce them. Fight for a principle. Express your gratitude. Overcome an old fear. Take two minutes to appreciate the beauty of nature. Tell someone you love them. Tell them again and again. What the hell? It's the same freaking logo. Okay, it's really weird. Okay, um, I'm just going to leave that there because that's odd. But I swear I could have like... I glanced in this direction. I didn't see anything at all. It was really strange. Hmm. Okay, so looks like the uh, daytime is running out or daylight. So I'm gonna go and uh, meet up with the fams and uh, have some dinner, and uh, probably continue on with this adventure later on once it gets a little bit darker. Um, and we'll see what else. It's weird because those symbols, I don't remember what the hell it was called, but I do remember finding it before, uh, which is a little bit concerning. Um, I don't know if that's just like a new thing happening. I got no idea, um, but let's head back to the car and uh, get the hell out of here. All right, guys, welcome back. The uh, sun has gone down. It is definitely much later. It's actually 1022 at the moment. And uh, I just had a fantastic dinner at my Zia and Zio's house. Um, had some pasta, which I have not eaten pasta in a long time, but you know how it is when you're Italian. You cannot refuse the pasta when Zia gives it to you. Otherwise, there's just gonna be an argument. <laughs> but there was other amazing things as well. Had some coffee, laughs. Uh, cries, you know, the usual thing, <laughs> usually how it goes, but uh, we are back at it doing some more randonautica for you. We got one from Virginia Ghost Hunter. Uh, she suggested Mysteries of the Past. There was a couple other ones, but I think that was the best one, so shout out to you. Um, yeah, so apparently it is in here. Um, it was funny because I pulled up and on the maps, it literally just looked like a grouping of trees. Like it didn't look like there was anything in there. And I'm like, okay, am I just about to go into another random grouping of trees where I'm not supposed to go? But apparently it turns out there is kind of like a dirt trail going through here. Um, don't really know what's in there, but we're about to find out. So let's go. Alrighty, definitely gonna turn these lights up a little bit so you can actually see what the heck is ahead of us. Man, it has gotten quite cold, which sucks, but it is what it is. Okay. Let's just try not to freeze our hands off. Man, it sucks how it's like not even the end of October yet, and winter is coming fast. You might hear me sniffling a bit because my nose is already starting to run. Alright, what are we going to find in here, if anything? Um, the earlier ones were kind of weird. I don't really know what to make of that stuff or what the hell is going on, really. But we're going to see if we can find some more answers or clues or... I don't know. I definitely don't have the answer for you, so... Or for myself, rather. Alrighty. Where are we going? That's some 
stuff here. What is that? Is that like a... That's like a broken pipe. But there is this. What is that? What's up with the brown bags lately? I don't... I don't understand. Another hat? Okay, that's really weird because I'm pretty sure the other night I literally found a hat instead of a brown bag just like this. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Like I, I don't I don't understand. What is the meaning of this? Why are people leaving hats and brown bags just kind of everywhere at this point? Um is there anything else here that I might have missed? It's like a fence, the hell? Wait. Oh, okay. I think there's a path that way. But what's behind this fence? I do know it said something about water and overflowing and... Um... Oh yeah, it says conditions in the storm facility pond uh, can change rapidly, including fluctuating water levels and thin ice. Skating and swimming are prohibited. Okay, so apparently we cannot go in there because that's uh, off limits. But looks like we can go this way. Oh. For a second I thought somebody was there because I saw something reflecting, but it's just pylons. <laughs> no big deal. Just pylons. Damn, I'm going to have to switch hands in a sec because the metal of this camera, because I have a cage on this camera, and uh, it is currently freezing my hands. It's down there. Oh yeah, it goes in pretty far. From what, uh, what I can tell. What the hell is that? Okay. Oh, maybe that's why they had that. <laughs> I almost literally did the thing that they said watch out not to do based on the pylons. What the heck? Uh, okay. We got a little monkey. Raw safarian monkey. I thought I felt something. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's like a little speaker box in him. Okay, but why did somebody like murder him like this? Why? What did the monkey do to you? What the hell? I'm telling you, man. <sighs> oh, I just noticed there's a bunch of like caution tape, it looks like. Yeah. What the hell? What's back there? That's weird. Like, um, is there a specific reason why that's done like that? Is it... I don't understand. What am I being cautious of? Okay. Oh, whatever. Um, yeah. We haven't quite made it to our point yet, because I do know it's kind of far in, it looked like. But yeah, that I cannot figure out. I don't know what happened to... Um, Mr. Jamaican Monkey. Also, my hands are already freezing. Um, I'm gonna have to start busting out those hand warmer things. I just gotta figure out where I put them. <clears throat> gotta love our good old Canadian winters over here. And it's not even winter yet. That's the sad part. I think I'm just be becoming a little too, uh, acclimated to the warmth down in Florida and Georgia and all that. What the hell did I just step on? Did I step on another frog? I swear. No, I think it was something else. That was weird. <laughs> I felt something squishy under my foot and I'm just like, after that night I'm just kind of traumatized. <sighs> Okay, so so far we found a hat, 
some weirdly caution tape tree. I don't know what's back there. Can't go in there. Um, and that, what is that? It, it is Wilbur's Breakfast Cocoa. Well, that's interesting. The breakfast cocoa in the package is made from a carefully prepared blend of selected cocoa beans with the excess cocoa. Okay, that's cool. Um, it's a weird place to leave a tin of cocoa. Oh, that is definitely not cocoa. That is... Um, Looks like the parts of Mr. Monkey that we just found down there. What the hell? Wait, what is in here? <laughs> what is that? There's like some random hair type. Ew, what is that? Ew. Oh, ew. Those look like... Are they supposed to be vampire teeth? That's kind of weird. <laughs> okay. Oh man. What the hell? <sighs> well, looks like we got some battery drain going on over here because this battery's already halfway done. We've barely made it even 10 minutes in. Uh, damn, it's cold. But yeah, that that's weird. I don't know what the deal is with the the weird vampire teeth. What is going on out here? For a second I thought I saw something out there. Hello? It kind of almost looked like a person. Far, far off in the distance, but there's nobody there. As far as I can tell. Makes me nervous sometimes when you come around bends. <sighs> Hello? Oh. Spooky train. Here's something. What is that? Fingertips are already freezing. Damn. Like it kind of looked like as if somebody was standing down there. Oh, there's a rabbit. Yeah, you can see a rabbit all the way down there. That's not what I was looking at though. Sounds like water. What the hell? Okay. That's kind of weird. Sister, as children we lived together, we fought, we laughed, and we cried, and we not always, we did not always show the love that was growing deep inside. We shared close joy and sorrow. We shared much happiness too. Living through the good and bad times is what bonded me to you. We grew to find we have a love that is special in every way. It is a warm and tender love that is very strong today. You are my sister not by choice, but through the nature of our birth. I could never have chosen a better sister. You are the best on earth. It's got like a marking there. I don't know what that says. Uh, Isabel, February 11th, 1985. From 1978, Alan Booth. Huh. Oh, what the hell? 
Does that say what I think it says? You guys can see that clearly, but it looks like somebody got really angry at this <laughs> picture frame for some reason. Um, okay, we're just gonna put that back. Uh, I don't quite think we're even at our point yet, um, but I think I need to maybe change the battery. I'm gonna just cut for a second just in case so we don't lose any footage. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, um, had a weird malfunction on the camera there two seconds ago, but uh, I caught it in time before we were recording a whole lot of nothing. Um, yeah, so we do got to keep going. It looks like our point is about five minutes ahead. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> this is spooky. Spooky, a little bit cold. I'm gonna keep warm here. Another gate. Oh, it looks like the trail goes right. That's interesting because our point definitely looked like it veered right. Oh, that's spooky. I said there was a facility back there. I'm guessing like some sort of maybe water. Okay, I do apologize. We're having some uh, weird issues right now with the camera. Just randomly cutting for no reason. I'm going to see what's up with this thing. I think I need a uh, replacement soon. I don't know what's going on, but it's really starting to get on my nerves. What is that? I swear I see like a black thing down there. I don't know what that is. Probably nothing. I do hear water, but it sounds like it's down in that direction. Heard somebody speaking. So it sounded like somebody speaking. I haven't seen any other people. Oh, it sounds like water, or maybe it's just from the wind. It has been really windy all day, which is making it pretty damn cold. I don't see anything. Oh. Also, lately, this app has been... Bring me to some really weird spots, like a lot of forests. I know sometimes we go to some by choice, but a lot of these have not been by choice. I just happen to be in like, you know, a suburb somewhere and it's like, yeah, go to this, uh, this densely forested area <laughs> at almost, you know, middle of the night. And I'm like, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm telling you, I hear people. Is there anybody out there? I don't know if the mic's picking this up, but it sounds like somebody's singing. What is that?
Hello? Somebody singing out here? Stopped, but okay, so we haven't found anything else, but I'm just hearing like weird noises almost as if somebody's like mumbling at one point, some like faint, faint singing. Double check to see if we've no, they definitely heard. What is that? Oh, well, I think those might be coyotes, but that's not what I heard though. That's strange. Yeah, I'm going to double check to see how how we did, how far we came towards the point. Maybe we passed it. I don't really know. Um, we should have. I'm looking at the time on the camera. We should have arrived at the point, and there's really nothing. Just the stuff towards the beginning there. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a look and uh, see. Maybe we'll head back to the car. Okay, that was really creepy. So I just started walking back. Well, I've been walking back for a couple minutes, really, but I just heard someone screaming. The only problem is I don't know which direction it was. It kind of sounded like this direction. I mean, maybe it was a fox? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, I'm a little creeped out. be uh, hard to get around because there's no complete fence. You know what? We're going to just take a quick look in here because it kind of sounded like it came from that direction. Oh, man. I mean, there's no signs that say I can't go in here, so I don't know. Hello? There it is again. Okay, what the hell? Well, now I have to check. <laughs> that was really weird. Somebody back there? Sounds like somebody talking. This is really weird. It sounded like somebody was like screaming 
all the way back there. I think. I don't know. I mean, dude, look at where we are. The way the sound resonates. There's like some random thing down there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, man. That cold is just getting right into my lungs. I don't even know, like, what's back here. Oh. The question is, do I go or do I not go? I do not. All right, so that battery is completely kaput. <laughs> I don't know how it died so fast. Uh, could be from the cold or maybe something paranormal. I have no idea, but I decided I'm going to go down this trail because... the heck? I keep hearing things, like weird things that just don't make sense out here. Like that. It's talking again. Where is it coming from? What is this black thing? What the hell is that? It says, behold? Behold what? Okay. <laughs> I don't... I don't know what we're beholding, but... Oh, it looks like there's something else over here. is coming what are these <sighs> all right see so someone please explain what the hell is going on right now <laughs> symbol again that I still cannot remember the name of. Okay, what the heck? What? You must prepare. Eclipsian rises. Oh, that's what it was called. The Eclipsian something or other. What the hell? Also, what is that shiny thing over there? Oh, I think that's just a... Oh, that's a, like a pond area. Okay, this is getting really, really weird. Oh, yeah, there's like a whole pond back here. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, this is kind of creepy. <laughs> what the hell was that? I just heard something behind me. Okay. Either I'm tripping out or... <laughs> Literally just a pond. 
Nothing too crazy, obviously, but I'm a little uh, on edge. Just a bit paranoid, to say the least. I don't know if I should keep going or not. Maple Down Pond. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything over here. So we found those, and yeah. <laughs> Let's just take a look at what's around this bend. Might as well. What's down there? Whoa. Okay. Well, doesn't appear to be anything else. I think I'm going to head back to the car. Warm up for a few minutes. And uh, I guess we'll see what and where is next. Whew. Alrighty, we are uh, back in action. I had to go and uh, swing by a gas station because I got some rumblies in my tumblies right now, if you know what I mean, and uh, <laughs> I needed to take a second. But, um, ran another intention and uh, wanted to do a little bit of an experiment just to see what would happen. So I was sitting at the gas station, ran two points, but both with the same intent, being cult. Um, which was from somebody, I don't know if I can click anything right now, uh, that is from Michelle Fletcher, recommended cult. Um, I noticed there was a few of you that have been asking me to do this one. What the hell was that? Just heard something down there. That was kind of loud. So, um, it's telling us our two points are actually not far from each other interestingly enough one is down there which it looks like there's a park of some sort um just you know like swing sets and slides and stuff for kids um and then the other one looks to be down this trail and then i gotta turn left at some point so i figured i might as well go and check here first and uh See if there is, in fact, anything. If I find anything cult-related, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> Just saying right now. Uh, I'm finding some really weird stuff as of late. I think weird might be uh, an understatement. Let's get the O-light going here. Alright, looks like just a, just a park. Just a regular old park. I did hear something loud. It sounded like it was down there, but I don't see anything. Could have just been a sound resonating from somebody's house, maybe closing a door or something. I don't know. Huh. Okay. Oh, man, it's chilly tonight. That's for damn sure. <clears throat> As I was, I was driving, as I was driving over, apparently can't speak tonight, um, <laughs> the uh, car was telling me that it was only three degrees Celsius. That's pretty cold. What am I looking at? was that? Heard something off in that direction. Okay. There is a box with a flower. Um. Whoa. What is that? Okay. That looks like the writing that I just found. What is up with this stuff? Okay. Whoa. Is this 
like a, what is this? It looks more like a bed sheet. <laughs> I don't know. It, it matches the flower, almost. Uh, hell? Oh yeah, look at that. Celine, the leader. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? What is all this? Ew, what the hell? Hmm? Is that like a melted chocolate bar? What is that? That's nasty looking. That's pencil. Some, what I assume is nail polish. I don't know. Another hair tie. I say another because we found one earlier in that box. What are these? Like little tiny knitted socks. What the hell is that? Um. Fruit scents, sweet plum body lotion. Okay. We got a magnet of two people kissing. And it says Holland. Okay, that's random. Newfoundland. And they paid $2.99 for it at uh, Rocky Harbor. Sherman's Landing. Okay. I don't understand. S and a 6 or is that a 9? That's up for debate. Question mark. Q. Totem pole thingy. <laughs> I've seen these before. What is that all about? And we have a mother is someone who cares when others care less. Someone who encourages when others ridicule. Someone who defends. I keep hearing something down there. I feel like I'm being watched. Someone who defends when others condemn. Someone with patience when others are impatient. Someone who appreciates. I literally just heard something snarl at me. Could be a an animal somewhere. Um, when others fail to notice. Someone who gives security in a world of insecurity. Someone who is accepting when others reject. A mother is a friend for all time to cherish and protect as her achievements will linger for generations. Okay. She, L.S. most pure? Or is that is? She is most pure? Okay. <laughs> Random keylight. More body lotion, apparently. Okay, what is all this stuff? I don't understand. And that's kind of creepy. Um, I'm kind of nervous about going to the second point. Let me take a look at this. Of course, my light just has to glow. Perfect timing. Oh crap. Well, that's dead completely. Just give me a second, guys. I'm going to change this battery. Alright, so, well, whatever this is, looks to be pretty long, so I'm just going to hang on to that. Um, this, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Uh, this doesn't seem like an appropriate place for all this random stuff, but we're going to go over this after, and uh, I'm going to head over to the next point and I guess see what the hell is there. Okay, so, we are currently heading towards our other point. Um, weirdly enough, where it shows a left, <clears throat> it's not actually like a trail. It looks like it goes left, kind of right into this tree line over here. Um, Oh man, 
Well, if this is our crappy weather already, I am 100% not looking forward to winter. Okay, so if we go to turn left, we need to find a sort of opening because that looks awful. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to just abort mission if I can't find an opening here. Let's see. telling you sometimes this app sends me into the most complex areas uh, yeah that's an opening all right what is that okay am I about to like get jumped <laughs> what the hell? Hello? Okay, that is super creepy. Is this like an actual trail? Eclipsian awaits you. It is your calling. Um, I'm good. I'll pass. What in tarnation is this? It's really creepy. Um, goggles. supposed to like spell something um tell me it spells what I think it spells Filtration, vacuum bag, okay, there's like three of these, I don't know what those are for, <laughs> what is this? It's like a bag of weird blue powder. Drink me? What the hell? What is that? Looks like just a bunch of random stuff if you ask me. Is that it? Okay, I'm gonna have to put you guys down here for a second. Oh, there is something. What is this? Bro, there's a phone in here. Looks like it's dead. Okay, <laughs> this just got really, really weird. Um, so we got a bag of random things. Interestingly enough, this chalice looks like one that I found not too long ago. But this phone, is this USB-C? No, that's like the old USB, which I don't have in the car, damn it. Okay, this is really weird. Like, the question is, was this meant for me to find? 
or no, I mean I'll see if I can find a cable for it and maybe I was gonna see who it belongs to but I mean I think that might be a little bit obvious okay what do I do <laughs> I don't know what to do uh, is there anything else in here like does this lead to something I mean my point was like pretty deep in but yeah <laughs> I don't know what to what to even say right now Oh yeah, looks like it keeps going all right. But to what? I hear something. Hello? Something was just moving out there. I don't know if this ends or if it keeps going. Oh, it does keep going well. Whoa. This is kind of interesting. Um, well, there's nothing else here, so... Honestly, I'm, I don't think I'm going to go all the way because I'm, I'm really cold right now. I'm not going to lie, oh, my right hand is just freezing at the moment, um, oh man, what do I do here? So I think I'm going to hang on to this phone, I'm going to see if I can find a charger for it, because, I don't know, I really don't know what to make of it, and, uh, so I'll just move back there, um, but yeah, I guess we'll check if there's anything on it. Do you saw that other random note? I haven't even really looked at what the hell it says yet. But I know it's related. And this shit's getting really, really creepy and weird. So yeah, let's go back to the car and uh, we'll go over that stuff. Ooh, okay. Ooh, damn, it is cold out there. Holy moly. Alrighty. Um, <laughs> so we got two weird discoveries. We got a cell phone here which does not turn on no idea if the thing even works um but i will plug it in probably when i get home um i probably won't be able to go over whatever if there's anything on it i mean it could just be a random phone <laughs> for the you know i i don't know it's whatever um but yeah i'll see if there's anything on it um if we end up going through it then i'll probably go through it in another video because i don't think i'll have enough time to go through everything and edit and all that stuff and still have a video up for tomorrow. Um, I mean, provided there's anything on it, of course. Now this letter or whatever this is that was in that frame in the box is weird. I read the first line, it says, Love Beyond the Eclipsian Covenant. I've been trying to remember the name of that, whatever it is that I found uh, a little while ago. And that's what it was. It was the Eclipsian Covenant. And I remember now because I searched it up Nothing comes up. There's literally nothing on the internet about whatever this is. <sighs> as far as I remember, it could be a cult, which is a possibility that I may have just found a bag that belongs to a cult member, and this could be their phone. I have no idea. Or maybe it was stuff that they were using in a ritual. I mean, there was like a candle, there was a weird chalice looking thing, um, and that black thing that said whatever. Uh, so this says, in the heart of the secluded valley, <laughs> Uh, excuse me, my nose is running because it is so freaking cold right now. Where the Eclipsian Covenant resided, a love story unfolded that would challenge the very foundations of their enigmatic world. Sam, a wanderer with an insatiable curiosity, had found his way to the Covenant's hidden sanctuary, driven by a quest for knowledge and a longing to understand the cosmic forces that guided their lives. Among the dense, ancient trees, he encountered the cult's rituals and the captivating presence of high priestess, priestess Selene, or Selene, or I don't know, I'm assuming it's Selene, it's S-E-L-E-N-E, -E -E. um, 
From the moment Sam first laid eyes on Celine, he was entranced by her beauty, her grace, and her aura of mysticism. Her silver eyes had secrets of the universe, and her voice, like a haunting melody, resonated in his soul. They spoke about stars, moons, and the myster mysteries of the night sky, and with each conversation, their connection deepened. Celine, the leader of the Eclipsian Covenant, uh, felt a stirring within her heart that she had never experienced before. Sam's presence brought a sense of life and vitality of their secluded community, and he challenged her to see the world beyond their rituals and prophecies. Uh, in Sam, she found a kindred spirit, a partner in her quest for understanding, and a love that transcended cosmic mysteries they both cherished. This is really weird. It's like we're list reading out a love story between two members of a cult. Um, as Sam and, as Sam and Celine spent more time together, their love blossomed in the midst of celestial gatherings and moonlit ceremonies. Their connection uh, was a secret closely guarded from the other members of the covenant. Interesting. For such love was considered a distraction from the pursuit of enlightenment. That's really weird because I'm pretty sure the box said enlighten or enlightenment or something along those lines. Um, which I literally just grabbed and put on top of the garbage can back there. However, love has a way of finding its own path. Okay. And the two lovers were unable to hide their affection completely. Whispers began to circulate among the cult's members, and tensions simmered within their secluded world. Some saw such Sam as a distraction, a potential disruptor of... Now, on page two... Oh, man, my nose is running. Uh, the Covenant's delicate balance. Others, touched by the authenticity of Sam and Celine's love, quietly supported their bond. One night, during a rare lunar eclipse, Sam and Celine found themselves at the heart of the Covenant's most sacred ceremony. Just the way it's spelt is really weird. It looks weird. I think it's just the font is just messing with my eyeballs. But as the moon darkened and the stars shone with an unparalleled brilliance, they made a choice. In the midst of the cosmic event, they professed their love openly in front of the entire cult as a testament to the power of love to transcend even the most es esoteric beliefs. The reaction was mixed. Some members were shocked, others outraged, but a surprising number were moved by the strength of Sam and Celine's love. High Priestess Celine, her heart brimming with affection for Sam, revealed a new vision to the Covenant. She spoke of unity and embracing love and enlightenment as intertwined forces, and the importance of balance in their spiritual journey. The Eclipsian Covenant was divided, but change was inevitable. Sam and Celine's love had shaken the foundations of their beliefs, leading them to reevaluate their understanding of the universe and the power of love within it. In the end, the Eclipsian Covenant evolved and love was welcomed as part of their path to the Enlightenment. Sam and Celine's love story continued to be written among the stars, a testament to the transformative power of love, even in the most mysterious and unconventional of places. Okay, weird. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. I mean, it, is, it sounds all, you know, lovey-dovey, fine and dandy and whatnot, but if we are, in fact, dealing with some sort of cult, I don't know if these people are dangerous. Um, the Visarians have just completely backed off at this point. Maybe they finally got my message of, you know, go screw yourselves. I'm not joining your weird cult. Um, I don't know what's up with this. I'm very curious. Uh, just because I find it kind of fascinating at the moment. Like, this is indeed fascinating, right? I don't know if you guys agree with me, but... <laughs> uh, it's also very strange and weird, and, like, is this their way of contacting people and communicating with people? Like, I don't know. I don't understand what this is about. Um, yeah. Very, very strange. But we're gonna leave this off. Um, finding this stuff tonight was indeed just creepy as all hell um let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about this um it seems like almost everything we found tonight might be related to this we found that that letter that card or whatever earlier um it's just been very very weird i don't know like i don't know who these people are but yeah just so that way I don't end up repeating myself we're just gonna end this off here smash the like button and uh, of course subscribe if you're new
Let me know if you want me to use any other intentions of yours down in the comments below. Um, or follow me on social media on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. And of course, go and subscribe to the vlog channel and the podcast because we got new episodes coming up there as well. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye-bye.